once again and we're going to have a game of Afterburner um, Afterburner 2 um, don't know what the difference was Afterburner, Afterburner 2 I don't know for the Sega Mega Drive yes keeping up with the Mega Drive oh I've played two excellent games on it so far so I'm only assuming this is going to be an excellent game it looks excellent um, so let's give it a go this was another arcade classic for me I used to play back back in the day on the arcades played this on the Amstrad Super C Commodore 64 ZX Spectrum Amiga right let's give it a go right so push start button the start button and just get on with the game um, here we go right here we go so one go faster obviously fires on its own looks pretty decent looks very good um, I know it was a tough game to play in the arcade but I'm looking at this this looks very impressive oh fucking hell I don't like my playing <laughs> yeah excellent excellent As I said, did I say it fires on its own? Oh, fucking hell! Yeah, I'm out of practice as you can see. Well, it's the first time I'm playing it on the Mega Drive. Or emulator. Right. I'm passing the cells. It's not locking, why is nothing locking on? Oh, I didn't see that coming! Damn it, game over. Right, we're going to continue. Right, here we go, level 3. Is that level 3 I'm on? Woo! Oh, I thought I missed that. Now I was playing around with my afterburner there. <laughs> I didn't look in front right. We just got a constant speed. You don't need that afterburner. I mean, there's no time limit in this game, so it doesn't matter how fast you do this level, and I'll fuck up. Um, it's just a matter of survival. I think they would be taking the piss if there was a time limit to this game. Ooh. I'll just cover the missile. Oh, here we go. Just keep the missile button locked, or covered, rather. Ooh. God! Yeah, it's almost every bit as tough as the arcade version. <laughs> we'll continue. Definitely continue. Oh, here we go. We're going to get refueled, re weaponed. Reloading weapons, rather. Re weaponed. <laughs> um, yes, so graphically, brilliant. Sounds, yep, yeah, it's also good. I mean, Similar to the arcade. And I fuck up. Just, I'm just as every bit as crap as I was in the arcade, because this was a tough game. Something I don't like about it, I've noticed with the controls. Um, my only gripe about the game, I think. But maybe there's something in the options. I didn't look at the options. Um, when I push up, the plane goes up. When I push down, the plane goes down. You might think, hang on a minute, isn't that supposed to? No. When you're playing flight games, like looking at it this perspective, or a simulator, when you pull back on the stick, the plane goes up. If you pull down on the stick, the plane goes down. Forward, down, back, up. That's how aircraft works and that's how I like to play top, uh, plane games not up up down down that's the only gripe I've got about it but we'll look at the options when we've done this game what I'll have it if I can remember I'll look at the options and see if you can change that option as I'm getting fucking blown to bits here Yeah, 
Right, where am I? Just keep firing back there. I don't want to use all your missiles up. You only get a limited supply. Alright, game over. And I've gotten to level 4, which is pretty shit. <laughs> Have a look once we get out of this. Once we've done this, right after them, push the start button. Right, let's go into options music, sound, level control. Ah, up, down. Wait a minute, up, down. Yeah, so reverse that's what you first got to do. So there is that option to change the controllers, to con change the controls to reverse. So meaning down, the plane will go up, and if you push up, the plane will go down. That's good. And at least that option's there. Okay, that's great. But if you do play the Mega Drive version, remember to do that option first, if you like the controls to be like that, which I do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, till next time and goodbye.